Hi, I'm Mick Sadler, and today we're going to talk about the Fuji X-T3 focus brake tin. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. And um, why? I think it's because of uh, burnout. Burnout, definitely burnout. That's what they all say, isn't it? Burnout? Oh, no, I don't think it was. I think it's just the lack of uh, ideas. Anyway, we're going to look into uh, focus stacking or focus bracketing on X-T3. Now, for uh, landscape work, it works fine. You, on the setup on here, you can choose how many uh, frames you want. You can also choose the increments, and the increments go from 1 to 10. Now, it's not enough for macro work. For landscape work, it's fine. Um, I've taken a picture, um, focused on the front edge, and we've got it set for about 25 pictures, and it's only taken five pictures. Uh, so front to back, uh, it's fine. Yeah, in macro work, obviously you've got a, a finer depth of field, and 25 is not enough. So increments of 10, they need to be 30, 40, 50. Um, so, you know, because manually, uh, if you wanted to stack manually with macro, you could take, say, five pictures and get everything in focus. Um, anyway, over to the computer, we'll have a look in there, see how we get on. Okay, we're into the Lightroom now, and this example is uh, my back garden. And uh, it's just taken five pictures, set on increments of 10. And there's 25 pictures set in there, but it's only taken five. And uh, you can see here, this is the first one, so we're, we're sharp down this area. Um, When it loads, that is, yep, so that's sharp there. If we go up to the back, that's sort of out of focus. So come to the, the last one, and, uh, and the back is uh, in focus once it loads. So it's a bit slow. And that's it, that's quite sharp now, whereas at the front there, is quite out of focus. So uh, from that, we're going to take this into Photoshop. You can use Helicon Focus, uh, but we're going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. So we select all those, we right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. I'll go away and start to uh, load the pictures in Photoshop. Um, and it can take a while, especially with screen recording as well. And Helicon Focus is, is a good uh, good way of doing it, especially if you're doing lots of them. But you can do it adequately in, uh, in Photoshop. So I'm going to come back to you when all this is... Uh, gone in, loaded in, and all the layers are up. Okay, so all the layers have been now loaded. We're going to select them all, so they're all selected. We can go up to Edit, All the Line Layers, and leave it on Auto. Okay. So that will go away and do its job, and because this was a, a handheld, these uh, brackets, so there's going to be some movement, even though the shutter was released continuously. Um, you know, there is some slight movement. So these are all still selected. So we're going to now go up and go into auto blend layers. And uh, we're coming down to this one, stack images and same tones and colors and field threads. We're going to leave them ticked. I'm going to say OK. Now Photoshop is going to go away and 
really load all these up and choose the best areas that are in focus and uh, make uh, a mould for each layer. So that can take a while um, and it's actually done now. So you can see on the right hand side all these um, miles of what is in focus. So uh, this is our finished picture. It's going to save that to uh, into the uh, into Lightroom. So we click back on Lightroom and we're back here. And now this is our final image um, in Lightroom. And so we focus down the bottom here. That's nicely focused all the way through to the back. That's how you do uh, uh, focus bracketing, and um, yeah, it works really well. But uh, in macro work, it doesn't work quite so well. Well, I don't think so. Now, this is a, a bluebell which I took, um, and this was actually uh, 20 shots. So this is taking 20 shots to uh, produce this close-up. Now the same thing could have been done in, say, five shots. Um, so really the increments in the Fujifilm stacking or focus bracketing um, need to be a bit bigger. So instead of being a 10, it needs to be 20, 30, 40 or 50 um, because there's too many shots involved in this, and uh, especially if you're trying to hand hold, you don't want that many shots. This is on a tripod, so this was quite fine uh, to have that many uh, 20 shots, whatever it was. Um, so that was fine, but uh, if you're hand holding, you don't really want all them shots. You want to be able to produce something like this with uh, with say five shots well that's really uh, comes to an end for our stacking focus bracketing and uh, let us know how you get on and uh, whether you can uh, do it manually or whether your camera does it internally and let us know how you get on i'd love to see some of the uh, some of the pictures Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, leave a comment down below uh, and let us know what your setup is and how you get on with these settings. Um, maybe using a different camera and uh, somehow it's uh, better. Um, anyway, let us know and we'll see you again next time.